Hey guys, Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. I am going through a whole series on the X32 Mix app that Behringer has released for the iPad. Now this is the new version three software. Um, and if you didn't check out last week's video on the home tab, make sure you look at that before watching this video as you'll wanna make sure that you know all about the app. So today we are going to be hopping into the detail tab. Now last week we were talking about the home tab with all the mixing, but today we're gonna be talking about the detail tab have, which is going to be the majority of your workflow as far as editing the individual channels. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. Now there's two ways to get to the detail tab. Either we can A, press the image, the scribble strip of our channel, or we can press our detail tab. Now if we want to change to a different channel, all we have to do is use our um, selection up here, click on one of the channels, and then we're in our detail tab. Now once we are in the detail tab, we can also use these arrows to go between our different channels here. So we are gonna jump into channel 11 here. And so we can see that we have a whole bunch of different stuff here. Now the first thing that we can see is our source. Now our source is going to be which input is going to be into this channel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select channel one as that is where I have a microphone in. And we can see that I can set my gain here and as well as my phantom power on and off. And they will ask you to confirm. You can also link an odd channel to an even channel by pressing your link button. It will ask you to press yes, and now the two channels are linked. Uh, we also have phase. This is actually a polarity reversal switch. So if you wanted to change the positive and negative terminals on the microphone, basically you would hit phase and that would change the polarity of your channel. Um, next we have delay. Basically this is an individual channel delay with a, in, uh, we can set our settings from 0.3 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds. And basically this is a good way to be able to delay all of your instruments to maybe your back line if you wanted to, or if you had two microphones on one one source, you could put that microphone that is closer and the microphone that's farther away into the same phase by delaying one microphone and bring those back into the same time spectrum. The next thing that we have up here is our low cut. We can set this here and turn it on and off and change where the low cut is set. Uh, lastly, up here we have our pre insert and post. And so these are going to be in regards to the insert. Um, so pre has our insert pre EQ and dynamics, post has our insert post dynamics and EQ. We can also set where we want our insert to go. And lastly, we have our swap button, which basically swaps the EQ and the dynamics by pressing swap. We can also copy and paste a channel very easily by pressing copy. And now this has just copied this channel. And if I go to my next channel over here, I can press paste. And I can also select the recall scope for actually pasting this channel. If I wanted to actually paste all of it, I would just select all. And then I can press paste channel 11 to channel 12. Or I can individually select that I just want my EQ going in and I can press that. The next thing that we have down here is our DCAs and mute groups. So we can go ahead and assign channels to the DCAs here or the different mute groups individually here as well. The last thing that we have is up here on our main tab is where the channel is going to be going in our main bus. So we can see that our stereo left right is lit here. We have our mono center um, and with the mono center we can turn that up or down. That also depends on the way that you have your board configured if it's left center right or left right plus mono. Lastly we have our mute and our solo buttons here. We can also see that we have our gate dynamics, EQ sends, naming, and preset all in the top row here. So if we were wanting to go adjust something on the gate, we can go ahead and click gate. And now we can see that we can turn on, R and off our gate. We can select between the type of gate that we have. We can have expanders, gate, or ducking. Uh, we have our threshold knob that we can set here. Range, attack, hold, release. Uh, our filter frequency lets, lets the gate control what it's going to listen to for setting the threshold. And we also have the slope 
that is also in regards to the filter. Um, and then our key source. If we were wanting to key our gate for this channel, say off of the kick drum, which is on channel one, basically I would go ahead and click this and then click channel one, and then I would press filter. Now what this is going to be doing is this is enabling the gate to listen to the kick drum and use the kick drum to gate basically mute and unmute this channel that it's using this gate. And our filter also lets you um, use the actual filter frequency. We have uh, bell curves here, and then also high cut and low cut that we can select between here. Next tab is gonna be our dynamics. Uh, we have our active button here. We have the option between compression and expansion here on this tab. Uh, we have our threshold. Our ratio is set from one to one all the way up to 101. Uh, we have our makeup gain, our knee, and the attack, hold, release, mix, which is a percentage of the compression of the uncompressed versus the fully compressed, which you can do kind of a parallel compression with this if you wanted. We also have our filter. Now, one thing that is pretty cool is we can actually set the threshold and the ratio by clicking on this graph here, which another thing we can do is we can set the gate the range and the threshold on the gate on the graph here. So if you wanted to set the range, it's up and down. The threshold is left to right. And same thing with the dynamics. The threshold is left to right and the ratio is up and down. Next thing that we have is our EQ. Uh, we can set our low cut from here and we can even adjust the low cut by clicking low cut here, and then we can use our frequency up and down. We can in insert and actually activate our EQ if we want to, and then we have our bands of parametric EQ that we can select. If you do have a mix bus selected, a matrix or one of the main buses, you will have six bands of EQ. So that would be the low, uh, low two, low mid, high mid, high two, and high. If you have a channel selected, you will only have four bands of your fully parametric EQ available. Um, if you click on the graph, you can raise and lower here, as well as change the bandwidth and the frequency. So if you click and drag right to left, it will change the frequency. You can also click and go up to change the amplitude. And then if you center your fingers over this and click with both and pull, then it widens the bandwidth. If you pull in, it narrows the bandwidth. Lastly, the other cool button that we have on here is our RTA. So we can see that when we click RTA, we have a spectrograph showing here of our EQ. Now, if you want to change this into bar mode, you can go ahead and click setup. And over here in global is our RTA preferences. So if we go ahead and click bar instead, and then we go back to our detail, we'll see that it's a bar instead of the spectrograph. If you wanted to change it back to spectrograph, you can click that and then go back to your detail tab and you'll see that there. We can also select between the types of EQ. We can select our low shelf, PEQ, VEQ, and high shelf, and high cut, low cut, all of the different types of shelves and parameters as far as the EQ goes. Next tab that we have is our sends tab. This is going to be any of our actual mixing to our mix buses. So if you wanted to turn up channel 11 in your monitor three, you would just do so like that or five. And with subgroups, which we have on nine, 10, 11, and 12 here, if you were wanting to activate this channel into one of those subgroups, basically you can unmute those channels. Now, another cool feature of this board is that we can individually set one channel to go into a certain type of mix bus in its own way. So if you had nine and 10 con configured as a group, but you wanted to place a little bit of reverb going into nine and 10. Basically we can go and select your effects one returns. You can change the configuration of nine and 10 to be a post fader. And then we can unmute and we can turn this up. And basically what that's doing is it's made this nine and 10 into a post fader for this individual channel. And so now we can vary the amount that's going to the drum subgroup.
The next thing that we have is our naming. Now this is definitely my favorite way of naming channels is by using the iPad. It's way faster than using the knobs of the X32. Basically all you have to do is select one of your channels and you can select the color. You can select the scribble strip type and even click in here and type what the channel is. Lastly, we have our presets. Now, the presets are loaded from the internal memory of your X32. The iPad does not have an internal memory of itself to save any of the actual presets. The presets live on your console, not on the iPad. Just keep that in mind. If you wanted to go ahead and load one of your presets into channel 11, all you would have to do is go ahead and select the channel that you want, the preset that you want to load, click load, and then you can press yes. And now we have loaded my ride uh, preset onto this channel. We can also change the recall scope for this um, pulling up by doing that. And I could load my acoustic guitar now for just the equalizer and the sends. I would press okay. And now it's changed to just being the EQ and the sends from the acoustic guitar preset loaded onto channel 11. Now we can also save things as well. So if we wanted to go ahead and save this over uh, this, we would just press save and we can just type it in here. And then we can see that it's titled test and then we can press done and it will say, are you sure that you want to overwrite that? And you can press yes or no. And that is is the detail tab. So we have gone through the configuration, gate, dynamics, EQ, sends, naming, and the presets of the detail tab. The other thing to keep in mind is we can turn up and down the channel still here. And so if you did want to go through and uh, individually turn up and down instruments, you can. Last thing that we have is our panning that's right here. We can pan if you wanted to return it to the center, simply double click. Thank you so much for watching this video on the detail tab of the X32 Mix app. Next week, we are gonna be looking at the effects section of this. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date with the most recent videos that I am releasing. Thank you so much.